take an incredible trek through time at the Journey Museum in Rapid City. From the beginnings of the Black Hills millions of years ago to its current state today, it's a museum that will impress anyone. And there might be a couple surprises in there for you. Hello, welcome to the Journey Museum. My name is Ray Summers. I'm the executive director at the Journey Museum. And a little bit about our story. We are the two and a half billion year history of the Black Hills of South Dakota. The story begins with the geologic formation of the Black Hills. Earliest people who were here in the Black Hills of about 12,000 years ago. A Native American story with uh, the Lakota Sioux who were part of the plains of, the Bla of Western South Dakota and finally the pioneer history. Uh, with the gold mining and, and, the, and the development of the Black Hills. Let's begin our story. The journey begins. So it all began here. This, this wall represents the geology, the, the rock formations of the Black Hills. If you can picture digging a deep trench through the Black Hills, this is perhaps what you would see on the walls of that trench. 95% of all the geologic formations on Earth are represented in the Black Hills because of the way it was formed. That's interesting. It was formed by a, an uplift, and as the uplift continued, the erosion basically cut the top off. So if you got the center of the Black Hills is the original igneous rock that's on the bottom, and then the farther you get away from the center of the Black Hills, you actually start to reveal the layers that are on top of that. Now we're in the Sioux Indian gallery, the Sioux Indian portion of our museum. This particular exhibit uh, shows how the animals on the prairie were, were a very much a part of everyday life for the, of the Lakota people. They used every part of the animal, both for food and sustenance, as well as for other day-to-day -day items like table, you know, their, their tools, their, their tableware and things of that sort. I read somewhere that 85% of their teepees were buffalo rawhide, is that true? Yes, I would, I'm sure that was the case. In fact, we do have a, a, a buffalo hide teepee right here in our, in our gallery in, in the exhibit. Now we're in the, uh, the pioneer section of the museum. This is uh, a collection of the early pioneer days. It's owned by the Menelusa Historical Association, uh, one of the partners here at the Journey Museum. And this tells the story about after the Custer Expedition, and when mining opened up and all of the people from all around the world, frankly, came to the Black Hills seeking their riches, uh, they brought a lot of things with them. And of course, initially it was all bachelor miners and they were only looking for gold. But eventually, um, as more and more people came, there were other folks that came along as well. As the families came, then the toys and, and the fine linens and the jewelry and the furnishings and all of that came along finally. The Journey Museum is a great place for families and especially for kids. There are so many things to do for children. This happens to be one of my favorites. Welcome to South Dakota. Welcome to the Black Hills. All aboard! Choo-choo! 